Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Valorant. Whenever you're trying to launch the game, you got the error. This build of Vanguard is out of compliance with current system settings. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, go ahead and if you are using MSI Afterburner or Riva Tuner, make sure you completely disable them. And nextly is if you are using third party antivirus such as Avast, AVG, Norton, whichever antivirus you have, make sure you either uninstall them or completely disable to fix out the issue of build of Vanguard is out of compliance. If this failed to work out, let's proceed with a second step. Right click on start menu and choose option run. Type here MS Info 32 and then hit the enter key. Now from here, under the BIOS mode, check it. Either it is UEFI or it is legacy. Now, if you have BIOS mode is UEFI as it is shown right over here, then you must own secure boot as well as TPM. To know the TPM, right click, open run command and type tpm.msc and hit the enter key. You can see over here that the by TPM is ready to use with specification 2.0. So again, I'm telling you, if your BIOS board is UEFI, you need to enable secure boot as well as TPM 2.0. You can enable them easily by entering into the BIOS menu. And if you want a detailed video, I'll share the link of the video in the description of this video on how you can enable secure boot as well as TPM. And one more thing, friends, make sure you disable CSM support also, which is also available in the BIOS menu. So again, if your BIOS mode is UEFI, you need to turn on secure boot. You must have TPM version 2.0 and you must disable CSM support. Now let's proceed with the second scenario. In the BIOS mode, if you have legacy, so again, your secure boot state must be turned off. Your TPM also must be turned off. And thirdly is you need to turn off VBS as well as memory integrity. Again, TPM as well as secure boot can be turned off by entering into the BIOS menu, whose video will be provided in the description of this video. Now, in order to turn off VBS, click on start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. In CMD, you need to paste this particular command. Again, copy it from the description of this video. Right click and paste right over here and then hit the enter key. This will turn off the VBS for you. And to turn off memory integrity, Click on start menu, open windows security. In this left pane, click on the option device security. Here under the core isolation, click on core isolation details. And here is memory integrity. Go ahead and turn it off. Now once you have turned it off, turn off secure boot, turn off TPM and disabling the CSM support. All these things combined will help you fix out the issue of this build of Vanguard is out of compliance with current system settings. Now these are the system requirements that you must follow to play the Valorant game. Now if you are having all the system requirements but still you are getting the error, let's proceed with the further troubleshooting steps. Again, in your BIOS menu, you need to re-enable TPM as well as secure boot. Seems weird but yes, sometimes re-enabling TPM and secure boot help you fix out the issue because your mother mode is not able to make your secure boot active. So in order to do so, again, Enter into the BIOS menu, turn off TPM, turn off secure boot. After that, press the F10 key to save the changes. Once all the changes are saved, restart your PC. After restarting, go ahead, re-enable TPM, re-enable secure boot, and then again press the F10 key to save the changes. Once you have done these things, again, restart your PC and then launch Valorant to fix out the issue of this build of Vanguard is out of compliance with your current system settings. Now if all this method fails, let's proceed with the last step. First of all, if your Roid client is open, go ahead and close it. Even from task manager, if it is open, right click and choose the option exit. Now click on start menu and type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Type here a command, SC delete VGC and hit the enter key. Again type SC delete VGK and hit the enter key again. Now close it. Now make sure to restart your PC else these commands are of no use. After restarting, head over to C drive, program files and here find a folder with the name Roet Vanguard. Just right click and choose the option delete. Once the folder is deleted, go ahead, relaunch Roet client 
and then it will ask you to update the game go ahead hit the update option once the game is updated you are ready to go hit the play icon this will go ahead and completely launch valorant for you which in turns help you fix out the issue of this build of vanguard is out of compliance with current system settings so as of now this is all about it friends if this video works out for you i request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching